Hi guys and welcome to episode 12 of Giant Killers on Fortnite Madrid 2016 with Alessandria and we're starting off with transfer screen here so we have there's been a little bit more transfer business not much and um, we've loaned out three players these three down here Leonardo Tariq he's gone out on loan to Ishia he wasn't going to play for us this season um, really I think we're probably just going to get rid of him in the end uh, Mattia Romano is a youngster he's go gone out to Messina to develop a bit more hopefully although he does play defensive midfield and we don't currently fit that in our system but you know it's nice to let him go out and get some football Mikel Fabro one of our new signings of course uh, he's quite young as well and we just he wasn't going to start this season and I'd quite like him to get a, a few starts under his belt so he's gone on loan to Benevento who uh, were the team that actually beat us in the Italian Cup in terms of the sale, we've sold Andrea Di Simone, who was a youngster from our, our under-20 squad, I think. And he's been sold to Spezia, who are now in Serie A. We sold them for £35,500. And that is because, obviously, we need to make as much money as possible because of our financial situation, which is improving. Slowly. And in terms of an in, we've signed another free transfer, Danilo Alessandro. Alessandro playing for Alessandria. Makes sense, really. Uh, he's going to be a backup to Filippo Bonaparte. Um I think he's probably on the same level as, as him, if not a bit better. So hopefully he can do the business when we when we ask him to. Since the last episode, we've played four matches. Three of them being competitive. One was a friendly. The first game that we played was a friendly against Brera. And that ended 4-0 to us. They're lower league opposition, so it's not really that important. But obviously nice to get four goals. Then the next game was a league game against Pescara at home and we lost 1-0. Quite disappointing. City Dino picked up a little bit of a knock as well. Not the best. We then followed that up with a 1-1 draw against Perugia and we were winning this until the 91st minute. We conceded the 91st minute equaliser and I, w I was so annoyed at that. But then the next game, the last game that we played up until this one, uh, against Pisa who also got promoted last season, we beat them 2-1. Michel Marconi getting the brace and the first victory of the season. So that leaves the Italian Serie B table looking like this. So we're in 11th place at the moment with five points from the first four games, which isn't that bad. For a newly promoted team, it's not that bad. I um, would like to have got that win against Perugia. That would have been nice, but... Not too concerning. Interesting that Atlanta, who were relegated last season, are in the relegation zone after four games, but of course that's all likely to change. So for this one, this match against Pro Vercelli, we're actually going to stick with the same lineup that we played in the game against Pisa last time out, and that is Nordi in goal, Sosa Marrero, Siri Sabato, obviously our first choice defence, Nico and Naviso in centre midfield. Bonaparte on the right side of attacking midfield, Maris in the middle, Scapuzzi on the left, and Marconi up front. So Pro Vercelli are Evans' favourite, and we're at 11-5, same as draw 11-5. And hopefully we'll be able to, to pick up the victory today. Pick up where you left off last time out, guys, and hopefully pick up another victory for us. We've played quite well in the games that we've done so far this season, so, so I don't see why we can't get a win today. Playing in red today as well, which is our away kit. So it's Bonaparte. Plays it to Maris. Marconi. Play back. Well done, it's Maris. Shoots, it's saved, and then it's cleared. That was a great chance for us there. Manuel Maris couldn't get the finish away, though. Sabato's got a throw. It's Maris. Back to Sabato. Nico. The Viso. Finds Sabato out wide. Can he cross it? He can. And Bonaparte's there, but Sabato was offside. And Bonaparte missed anyway, so didn't really matter. Sosa with a throw in. Gives that away to Garcia. Garcia the long ball forward to Falsonelli. Difficult name. Falsonelli, Scavoni. It's Spinazzola. Ardazzoni. Plays it to Beltram. It's Brocati. Saved by Nordi. Not really much in this game so far. germano has got a corner now and it's headed toward Odazoni and it's saved by Nordi. It wasn't headed towards Odazoni because you can't head a corner to take a corner you can't use your head. Well, I guess you could, but it wouldn't get very far. So half-time and it's nil-nil. Not that bad. I think we can win this match. 
and I'm going to tell them that. Um, should I use the revenge? I'll use the revenge one. Yay, green. That's what we like to see. So I don't think we need to make any changes, so we'll just head straight back into the second half. It's Spricati. Plays the Fas Falsanelli. These names are difficult. Beltram. Oh, and it's a red card. Bye-bye, Laviso. Bye-bye. Okay, then. That forces us into a change then, doesn't it? God. Okay, so... We're going to drop Maris down to centre midfield, and then we're going to replace Maris with... Adriano Mezavia. And it's Beltram with a free kick. And it's off the wall. Thank God that didn't go in. Otherwise, Lavisa would have been getting an even bigger fine. So it's a corner for Provoselli. Germano crosses it in. Scapuzzi heads it away. Germano with another chance to cross it in. He does. Falsanelli, it's 1 0. 11 men are beating the 10 men. We've had seven shots. We've had six on target. And we've not been able to take our chances. It's Marchi. Marching forward now for Provoselli. He plays to Di Roberto. This is going to be 2, isn't it? Falsanelli, 2 0. Well. What can you do about that, apart from not get your centre midfielder sent off? So we're bringing Ricardo Boccolon and Danilo Alessandro on for Michel Marconi and Lucas Scapuzzi. See if, see if we can get a goal at least. It looks like it's going to be another chance for them. Scavoni, Falsanelli, he's on a hat-trick. Turns to defend, he shoots and Nordi saves. Can't say Provoselli haven't deserved this, really. We've got a throw in with Sabato. It's Alessandro. Back to Sabato. Tried to cross it and played it back to Nico with Sabato. Headed away by Berra. Mezavia's there. He plays it to Sosa. Can he cross the ball in? Tried and he loses the ball to Spinazzola. Now it's Falsanelli. To Scavoni. This is going to be three. Is it? It's Marchi. Di Roberto. And there it is. Spinazzola gets Provacilli's third. Germano with a free kick. Can they get a fourth? Hopefully not. Nordi comes out and collects and there's like 15 seconds left. So hopefully it's just going to stay 3-0. Well, Alessandro. Full-time whistle and it's ended. Provacelli 3, Alessandria 0. Massimo Liviso really screwing us over there by getting himself sent off. So that's what the table looks like. After that 3-0 defeat, we are sitting in 13th place in Serie B, which again isn't too bad. That, move, that win moves Provoselli up to 6th. Sure, they'll be happy about that. So, Leviso has been banned for one match, so we're going to fine him a week's wages. And he feels the fine was unfair. I don't, I don't give two hoots if you think the fine's unfair. I'll fine you two week's wages next time you do it. That is it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Next episode, we'll bring you the home game against Latina. They're currently sitting in 18th in the Serie B. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get all my content when it comes out, and I'll see you next time.